gone through so much like in my life like even in my basketball career i'm only 22 years old and i've been through so much that already makes my story so unique from fifth grade on like i was nationally noticed as, as one of the best basketball players i think i first got ranked in like the sixth or seventh grade as like a top 25 player and ever since then i just rose 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 until the time i'm a junior in high school i'm the number one player in the country um senior year still number one you know i'm mcdonald's american mvp you know i'm a and then I commit to Washington with Lorenzo Romar. He gets fired. I end up going back to Mizzou, um, you know, to play under Conzo and, and my dad. And I was like the I was like the chosen child at Mizzou. Like everybody was so excited to have like to have me come back to where I kind of was raised. And it was like I got treated like a like a god almost on campus. And then um, you know I got hurt before that first game. Um, well, actually, it was a couple days before that I really started feeling like, like my back had been messing with me, but then it got really, really bad a couple days before the first game. And I said, like, Dad, like, I tried to warm up with the team. I was like, Dad, I can't even play. The the stands are, like, packed. Like, it's sold out. The whole season is sold out. Um, and people are so excited, and I can't play. So then, like, I ended up calling the doctor after the game, and he was just like, Mike, like, like you're going you're gonna to have to get surgery for this. And, like, my heart just drop because like he could just tell over the phone he just had me try to do a couple things with you know my legs and stuff that that, that brought like severe pain to me he's like you're gonna have to get surgery so I ended up having to you know announce that I was out for the season you know I was in the the supposed to be number one draft pick in the NBA and I had to sit out the college season and watch and it was like the people at Mizzou like everything just they just turned on me kind of there was of course people that still showed me love and but but it just felt like the whole world like was just against me now and they I was like the chosen child at first and I never really had to experience anything like that so I tried to keep a good attitude you know in college but it definitely was tough um and then you know I had always dreamed about being the number one draft pick and then you know I've worked so hard to rehab so I ended up getting the surgery you know I'm sitting at all season um and then like the draft time comes around I'm finally kind of feeling normal ish not nearly to where I want to be and then, um, you know, I have, a, I have a pro day. All the teams come in. Um, they, they liked how I looked. And, you know, Sacramento at number two was like, if you're around at number two, we're probably going to take you. Um, so I was, like, I was like, hype. But then, like, I guess the way it works for, for most guys, I don't know if I'm going too long, like, with this story. But uh, it's yours. The, way, the way that it works for most guys, they go around to different teams, working out for different teams. For me, I just had one pro day. All the teams came to Chicago where I was working out and, uh, and and watched me. And then that's when Sacramento said, we'll take you at number two. But my agent wanted to have a second pro day um, with the, just the top 10 teams because uh, he thought there was a chance I might still go number one after sitting out a whole, you know, season. And, um, you know, I, I would go into that workout and the same searing pain comes right back that I had in college. And I ended up not being able to work out. And instead of my pro day, I think the, the L.A. Clippers fly in their doctor and then all the top 10 teams, they send their doctors too. So I'm now, instead of working out for the top 10 teams, I'm laying on a table and all these 10 teams have all their doctors there and they're just examining me, like seeing like, is he even draftable? And then I remember like, I, I was in so much pain. So I, that's when I ended up having to get my second surgery. And then the, 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 the report was written that um, they thought they didn't think I'd ever play basketball again. Like they thought I was undraftable. So I ended up, you know, draft night, all the teams were so scared, you know, news spread from one team to another. So I ended up dropping to number 14. And the Nuggets, you know, um, I think they just believed in their medical staff. They believed in me. And they ended up drafting me at 14, um, you know, and I've been rehabbing and, you know, getting back into to, to things since then. But even, you know, even now, like there's still like limitations and things that I'm still like healing from my certain my surgeries like my injuries were severe but you know God has done so much and I used to be resentful of like God like if you have this big purpose for me that I know that you have why are you letting me get hurt and thing and these different things but now I look back on it as the biggest blessing ever because it gave me two years to to grow as a person I honestly think if I had been the number one draft pick never really never really had any issues like I wouldn't have been the man that I needed to handle the NBA lifestyle and like I said earlier, be an influencer instead of being influenced. So now I view it as such a blessing because, like, that's the main goal for me is not basketball. So I want to be a man that can, can help change the world for the better for, you know, for God. You know what I mean? So it's like 
without that injury and without those two years, who knows what I'd be doing. I might be wilding out just like every other NBA player. Um, so, like, I, I, I just rode the elevator to success at first, and then God kind of stopped me. He saw where I was headed, and, like, I had to go all the way back down to the bottom. And now I've just been kind of taking the stairs and trying to grow my, my relationship with God just as much as I grow my game. And I think, you know, that's when he'll let me blossom into, like, what he wants. But it's it, I've been through a lot, like, relationship-wise, you know, seeing people betray me um, just because, you know, I wasn't, you know, they thought I wouldn't hoop again. So it's been... It's been crazy, yeah. like I've, but it's, it's all in God's plan, and I've seen Him work through me. Um, and if I can, you know, have hope in the situations that I was in, then like I feel like now I can get through anything. And maybe bring 